Day one of the menstrual cycle is defined as the first day of full flow. And some individuals will have spotting leading into that. That is not considered day one. Day one is full flow. And your cycle days, we start counting from that until the last days before your next period's first full flow day. So that's your menstrual cycle length. And generally that's somewhere in the 28 day range, but the range will be somewhere between 24 to 35 in um, most patients. If we're outside of that, then you would wanna see a physician, whether it's a regular gynecologist or a reproductive endocrinologist such as myself to have an assessment and understand why that cycle's a little bit off. Our Peak fertility days are the day before we ovulate and the day before that. So if you have a regular menstrual cycle, and let's take a 28 day cycle for example, your second half of your menstrual cycle, the, the time frame after you ovulate, for most patients is pretty well set at about 14 days. So in a 28 day cycle, if we subtract 14 days, then you're generally ovulating around cycle day number 14. So your peak fertility days are days 13 and days 12. Now, if we kind of use that same logic and we kick things out and we say, okay, well actually I'm a 30 day cycle. Well, 30, I'm gonna subtract 14 from that. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm probably ovulating around cycle day number 16. And so your peak fertility days are days 15 and days 14. And that, if you take your window and how wide your variability is, and most women have variability. Most women aren't like, a, I'm every 28 days on the dots. And we're like, well, some months I'm 28, some months I'm 29, some months I'm 27. If you take your variability and you calculate that range out, that'll give you your fertile window. And sperm can live in the reproductive tract for three to seven days, so they're pretty robust. The egg, on the other hand, lives for about 24 hours, which is why we say your peak fertility days are before you ovulate, because you want that sperm there ready and waiting at the end of the fallopian tube when you release the egg, so it's ready to fertilize and develop that embryo so it can travel down the tube to get to the uterus. That's actually an indication to get into either a regular gynecologist or a reproductive endocrinologist readily. Because if you're not having a regular menstrual cycle every single month, then you are not likely to be ovulating or releasing an egg every single month. And that makes it really hard to get pregnant. And we'd like to help you achieve ovulation so you can increase your chance of achieving that pregnancy that you're hoping for.